Well, you just saw the photo of this installed. If I was going to do this again, I would actually take this. This has already been clear coated uh, in a previous video, which is in the description. And I actually could have got away with just doing one wire uh, because two of these go to the ground at the switch. And of course, then there's the regular ground. So I could have dropped this down to four wires total. But, hey, so it's time to install this outside. Step one, drill a hole through the spot. Well, it's getting closer. I've tunneled out a hole in there. The wires go all the way through. Trusty uh, mallet. Made that also. So, there will be a lot of ceiling going in there. Between the Lexan uh, plastic and the board and the numbers, I put in actually a very clear silicone. It's slightly flexible, so it will move around a tiny bit, which of course would be no good. So I then put on a five minute type epoxy uh, on three sides of it, and also put an extra coating on the back here. Now, it's actually a tiny bit yellow uh, so that's why I didn't want to put it uh, over the numbers. And now I'll take this back outside and probably have to chisel away at the wood a bit more. And then I can run the wires and then fill the whole thing up with um, silicone. So it's now installed. Lots of silicone. I did leave a gap at the bottom. So if water gets in, it'll drain out. And on the back side, I'm running the wires down, and then they'll head off to power. Eventually, it'll be solar powered. So it's now all set up. Just got it running on the default time. And a bit later, I'll actually do the rest of the wiring. I'm going to probably set this up on a solar panel with a battery or just run the wire back to my storage area.